All right, so in this one, we are gonna add our nav bar, similar to like what Bootstrap already has. I know we have some stuff in here, but we're gonna change it just a little bit. So go to getbootstrap.com slash components and click on nav bar. This is gonna be the base nav bar. Good chance that we pretty much already have a bunch of this stuff in here. So let's actually look into Komodo Edit, go into our base file, scroll up, and we see some stuff in here that we already have. So nav bar collapse, collapse. Um, so we already have that. So we can just, let's just copy from that all the way down to the div. Copy those and let's get rid of that. So if you noticed, I copied everything in between navbar collapse and the comment for it. And then I'm gonna paste all of that. Save it. Do a refresh here. Now we have a little bit of a different look for our navbar. Um, I'm also gonna do one more thing and I'm gonna actually take our navbar out of here and do include navbar.html. In our templates, we're going to make a new file, navbar.html. Open that up, paste it. So I only did that just to make it a little bit cleaner and separated. So if we ever need to change the navbar, we can just jump directly into it. All right, so I told you a little bit about names, these right here. So that's a URL name. It's actually a shortcut for Django to use that as a link. Uh, sometimes the actual link might change, um, but using name will make it easy. So if the link does change, if you change it in your URLs, but you don't change your name, it will still work very well. I'll show you what I mean right now. So under action, uh, or uh, sorry, under link right here, active, we are gonna change that from active just get rid of that. And then we're gonna use this URL think, uh, sorry, about us and change that to about us. Okay, so where we got that name is right here. So about us. And it's going to take us to the page about us. So we need to make sure we close that. And then we have the final double quotes. So I'll just put them in single quotes just so you can see what I'm doing. There's a single quote and then this HTML or this Django tag that allows us to go and it creates this link for us. So let's do a refresh here. So make sure you save your base file. Go back in here, do a refresh. And about us is right here. Now, if we click on that, it takes us to about us, right? Uh, pretty nice. Now, of course, there is another way to do it. If you cut that and just did about dash us, it will still go there. Um, but let's put it back. Let's do a couple, put it back. So it, that URL about dot us. Now, if I go into my URLs and change it to this, do a refresh. About dot us does not found. But if we click on that, now it automatically changed it to that URL. So I don't actually have to go back into my HTML and change all of that stuff to match it. Um, that makes it super easy. So highly recommend that you follow that. Um, and you can do this for all your other pages. This is true about the dropdown even. So if we wanted to change uh, this dropdown in our nav bar, so remember the black we can change. So we can actually change this to about us. Let's get rid of this list item here. Cut that and paste it over here. And now we have this about us link being actually in there. Uh, we are on the about us page. There we go. So that, that works pretty nicely. And then our home page, home, we're gonna use that. So where this is our navbar brand. We're gonna change this one to URL home. Save that, do a refresh. Now, if we click that every time, it's gonna take us back home. All right, so that's URLs. Um, 
pretty cool, nice and easy to do. We can use it pretty much anywhere. So if you grab the About Us one, let's copy this, and we're gonna go into our signup page. Now, anywhere you see href, so this anchor tag, that's signifying a link. Anywhere you see that, you paste the About Us, and it will take you there, right? So you can do that over and over again, and whenever you need to change anything, it makes it super easy. So let's go back. Let's change about us the URL to about us two, and refresh everything. Now, if we click on it, it goes to about us two, and this is anywhere, anywhere we look. That is really powerful. It makes it a lot easier, if, especially if you've ever done HTML at all. Um, anyway, so that's the nav bar, and that's using the URL tag within the templates. All right, see you in the next one.